Hey everyone, this video is going to cover how to set up policies and why you would want to set up policies in the first place for your app development process. Probably one of the most relevant reasons to set up an app policies to ensure consistency as you're developing applications. Using behavior offline sync tab as an example, this is probably the most relevant examples. There's several default options. When you create a new app, that app sheet has off or on by default. So for example, sync on start is not set up. You have to enable that for every app you create. Same with other options in this view, along with the UX and options view as well. There's several options here and probably the most relevant for myself is also the image upload size in that most of the time it's set to, well, it's set to default for all new apps, but I often want to just have that full and make sure I am capturing full images from the users of the applications to preserve their resolution. And this is where app policies can become very useful. So when you create an application, you're not forgetting to turn on your appropriate settings that you know you want to have for each new application and automatically have those set when new apps are, are made. So let's go ahead and make a simple policy. You can find policies under your account the, and the, there's a policies tab uh, that you can click. In general, there are two types of policies you can create. One's an account level policy and that's just for your account and for any apps that you own, these policies will be enforced and then there's also team policies as well that are applicable for higher level enterprise plans where you can control um, app development for your whole team. This video is gonna focus on individual account policies and individual app developer policies that you can create. So we can go ahead and create a new policy very simply by clicking account policy. And you can see there's several pre-canned um, policies that we can kind of thumb through here, such as the ability to require a sign-in policy, run as app created, prevent road deletion, restrict data sources and providers. And here's one that's applicable to the example I previously brought up, acceptable image resolution. So really simply, I could select that as an example, click next. And I can see that I have this option here where it references the photo resolution. And in this situation, it basically doesn't allow low quality, but I can go ahead and change this too to enforce, you know, a full policy like I had um, brought up previously. So very simply by saying photo resolution equals full, I can also have an error message in place. I have two options here for any policy I create. One's a warning message and one's an error message. A warning kind of gives a heads up and you can put a special uh, description here to alert yourself when you're violating your own policies or you can turn an error, make it the severity level error message and then give the appropriate message too. And this will have the effect of forcing your apps to automatically set those policies to the applicable level that you're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to change the message here to say it must be full to ensure my messages align up with the policy that I've set in my condition. And I'll go ahead and save that. And if I jump back over to the application itself now, um, if I were to go ahead and try to set my app to default resolution, for example, and I hit save, now that I have my policy in place, you'll see that it will prevent me from setting an image upload size any lower than full itself. And with the same example, you have full access to uh, the AppSheet formula system to create a more sophisticated rule if you wanted to. So maybe I wanted to allow for a couple options here. Well, I could use basically the in function and then have it check into a list of values such as full and high, for example, and then I could close that off. And then if I save that and go back to my app, now I could trigger, I could um, toggle between high and full if I wanted to uh, without the policy changing. But the moment I creep outside these two 
uh, options. And if I go down to medium, AppSheet will then give an error message that I violated the policy and I'll and basically not have the app runnable until I change it back to uh, the appropriate upload setting. So you can continue this uh, type of policy making through a lot of different features here. And it's not very well documented on you know, all the different attributes you can use for the policies that you create in AppSheet. But a very easy trick uh, that, that I will use is right clicking on uh, any of these attributes that are set throughout my app definition. We'll use offline sync uh, option as an example in the sync on start option as an example. And if I click on inspect, I can get the attribute from uh, the HTML file itself. So if I were to, to scroll up here, I'll see that under where it says data schema path, it says behavior dot sync on start. So I know that this attribute is related to the behaviors and then the sync on start attribute in the app. So if I wanted to go and create a policy to make sure that that's on when I create an application, I'll click on custom policy and choose behavior settings as an option. And then I can say sync on start equals true. So now really quickly, I made that policy and I can go back into my app and with it off, I can, um, I can try to save it with the policy off and we'll see what the, what AppSheet does. You'll see that AppSheet turns that on anytime I try to turn it off. And that's just another example of what can be done. So with that, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and, and have a good one.